Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see how to create a WordPress website in DigitalOcean. So DigitalOcean is a cloud hosting provider just like AWS, Azure and GCP, but it is very much cheaper than those hosting providers. So even if it's a cheaper solutions, but it gives a very, very fast hosting solutions. So you don't have to worry about anything. If you have decided to use it, then definitely DigitalOcean is a good solution. Now, if you are coming from a non-technical background, then little bit uh, issue will happen while creating the websites on digital oceans. But uh, don't worry, in this video, I will give you a solution where in few clicks, you will be able to create the WordPress websites in digital oceans. Now, if you don't want to go into that complexity, then I would recommend uh, Cloudways because Cloudways uses digital oceans infrastructure to create or the host websites. So not only digital ocean, but also you will get a lot of options uh, like AWS, GCP, Linode in case of uh, Cloudways. So I will put the link of both Cloudways and digital oceans in the description, whichever you like, you can uh, explore the solutions and uh, create your WordPress website. So let's go to desktop and see how to create a WordPress website in digital ocean. Here we are in my desktop and first of all you'll have to open digital ocean so as mentioned earlier i have put a link in the description you can click on that and you will be landed on this particular page so first step is to sign up so click on sign up and uh, you have three options for sign up sign up with uh, google sign up with github and sign up with email so i will do sign up with uh, email now here you will have to type your full name a valid email address and a password so i have already done the sign up so i am not going deep into that but uh, once you fill this information and click on sign up a verification link will go to your email address just click on that and the verification process will be completed but uh, then you will also have to provide your uh, people account information or your uh, credit card or debit card information so they will charge few things but immediately the amount will be refunded back to your account only so this process happens because uh, of uh, the genuinity check is necessary so complete that and it's very safe to do that as well with digital ocean so once you do all those steps you will have to sign in so let me just click on uh, sign in and let me enter my password and it will ask six digit uh, code so check your email address and uh, type the six digit verification code that you have got here so let me just type it click on verify code so the verification is completed now you will be able to see a page like this now one thing is that you will get a credit of hundred dollar which will expire in 59 days so once this 59 days is over then your amount will be charged from your account within that if you want to cancel it definitely you can do that but uh, the good part is that initially you will have hundred dollar credit for any kind of testing you do now first thing first you will have to create a project so project is basically segregation of your uh, web hosting so for example if you want to create a e-commerce website then create a project and do everything within that and if you want to create a personal website then create another project and do all the stuffs over there so let me just create a new project and the project name i will just give a blog you can give anything of your interest then description also blog and what is the purpose so just click on this and select the available purpose here so for me it's website or blog once that is done then create project move resources into blog this is not necessary so skip for now now here build your website or blog but for that you have to get started with a droplet so droplet is basically kind of a vm or the virtual machines and every necessary resource will be carved out of that particular vm so just click on get started with droplet and it will ask you few informations over here now in order to create a wordpress website go to marketplace and here you will be able to see many options that you can install in a single click so here it is wordpress 5.8 now you can also search here wordpress to see what other informations are there 
so open lightspeed wordpress is also available so let me just click on that and then choose a plan so plan is nothing but uh, the pricing that uh, digital ocean will charge you so let me go with regular with ssd and uh, select uh, this plan six dollar per month and uh, below you will have the option to choose data center so make sure you choose a data center which is closer to your location or closer to your business now vpc network keep it as default it's not much of importance then uh, authentication keep it as a password and uh, here type your password so make sure that you are giving a password that is compliance with all the information that is present here under password requirements so i have uh, done the password and then you can enable backup but uh, monthly charge will be there that is 1.2 dollar so i strongly recommend to have a backup because it uh, basically helps us to restore whenever we have messed up uh, our websites uh, personally speaking it has been uh, many times actually it helped me to restore my websites now monitoring is free you can just click on that user data is also free but uh, this is something that uh, if you want to run some scripts when first time the droplet is uh, up that time only this is necessary if you don't want to run any script to while the droplet is being up then uh, you can uncheck it so i will also just uncheck it now finalize and create so one droplet and choose a host name so this is the default host name that they have provided but if you want you can give your host name as well now add text you can skip select a project so basically this is the project that i have selected and if you click here then all the other projects will also come up that you have in digital ocean so for me just select with this blog and create a droplet now here you will be able to see the progress of the droplets you have to wait a couple of uh, minutes i believe and then uh, the droplet will be ready for you now you can uh, click here and you will be able to see few more informations about this droplet that is being created so the droplet has been created and here ipv4 you will be able to see the ip address now copy this ip address and uh, the next step would be to configure your host name so basically i have uh, a domain in name in namecheap and uh, if you have a domain in any other hosting provider also you will have to complete this step and uh, for that you have to go to your uh, domain name provider and uh, click on manage and then uh, click on advanced dns and go down and here you will have to create two a records so first a record it will be at the rate symbol and the the value will be the ip address that you have copied the sing the second a record will be for www dot and the value would be the one that you have copied it from digital ocean dashboard now click on this tick symbol to save this uh, information and once this is uh, done that's all you have to do from your domain uh, name provider go back to your digital ocean dashboard and here now go to this blog or click on the blog project here on three dots that you are able to see just click on it and click on add a domain so now enter domain so my domain name is easy domains dot xyz and then click on add a domain so the domain was added and now we will have to configure it for that again click on this blog section and uh, again click on uh, this three dots and here you will be able to see an option called access console so access console means you will be able to have root access to the droplet that you have just created so just click on launch droplet console and a new page will be open where your console will be displayed and you will be do the configuration here now first thing first it is asking the domain name make sure you provide your domain name correctly and uh, make sure you do not provide any https options like that just uh, the naked uh, domain name that is easy domains.xyz hit enter and uh, verify if it is correct yes do you wish to issue a let's encrypt certificate yes we want because this will make sure that we have ssl or https uh, protocol to our website now please enter your email address so make sure you provide 
a valid email address because if you are providing a invalid email address then the setup will not be completed verify if it is correct yes it is uh, correct now do you wish to force https rewrite rule for this domain yes it means whatever non traffic non http traffic will be there it will be routed to your https traffic which is a secure thing so we'll have to accept uh, it now it is asking for some update now yes you can uh, update it now so this update will take uh, just couple of minutes hang on and wait for it uh, to complete so everything is complete now and now it's time to test our website so go to browser open a, a new tab and uh, easydomains.xyz and you will be routed to a page like this because you will have to install the wordpress here now keep english united state or as per your language you can select anything click on continue and site title i will just uh, type a new blog username is basically admin and uh, password it will be any password that you want to give so i have given the password that i want and uh, then your email address make sure you provide a valid email address and uh, here search engine visibility discourage because our site is not ready and uh, once it is ready then only we want the search engine to index our website so click on install wordpress and the installation has been completed and uh, click on login to log into the dashboard of wordpress so type username and password click login you are in the dashboard of your wordpress website now here you can do many things you can install plugins you can uh, create posts and all so you know all those stuff that you want to do in uh, wordpress so that's all for this video this is the process to create a wordpress website in uh, digital ocean so hope you like this video and uh, if you still have any question then put your comment in the co comment section and i will try to answer them and uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that whatever new video i upload in my channel you will get a notifications immediately